dear students and viewers good morning everyone and welcome to today's english second paper plus this is mohammed bridwan hak your teacher of english before you and for the first time i've come here today to conduct an online class so this is going to be my first online class with you dear students as you know because of coronavirus all the education and institutions have been closed even four months ago we used to go to school together do classes but because of covid-19 we can't go now the pandemic has changed everything the pandemic has stopped everything but remember education cannot be stopped so as we teach us have instructions to offer online classes this is the first time i'm here today to help you take preparation in english so let's get started dear students today i'm going to talk about types of sentences according to structure as you know there are four types of sentences according to structure in english they are simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence and the last one is compound complex sentence dear students but today i'm going to teach you three types of sentences simple sentence compound sentence and complex sentence first of all let's talk about the simple sentence as you can see in, in the definition a simple sentence is just a sentence that has a subject and a verb a subject and a verb combination is a simple sentence here verb means always remember here verb means finite verb finite verb finite verb is able to express the meaning of a sentence i mean with the help of a finite verb we just make a sentence how to recognize a finite verb finite verb is a tense verb you can change the verb that you can change into other tenses is called your final verb so a subject and verb combination is a simple sentence subject plus verb verb means finite verb plus other words here other words include either object verb complement or adverbial but except for finite verb there might be some other words but those would be non finite verbs okay if come to know from the definition of a clause that a clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb a subject and verb combination is a clause and this is an independent clause independent clause is also known as main clause or principal clause so you can say a simple sentence is just a sentence that has an independent clause an independent clause is just a complete sentence and is a simple sentence so from the definition we've come to know that a simple sentence has just a subject and a finite verb subject subject finite verb combination is a simple sentence and why or why we are calling this an independent clause an independent clause an independent clause is able to express a complete thought a complex sense in that case uh, you can consider an independent clause a simple sentence and a simple sentence as an independent clause okay let's talk about the let's talk about uh the sentences are just written on the whiteboard uh we read newspapers let's explain uh, here subject one and finite verb one so this subject verb combination is a simple sentence and uh, newspapers a uh, newspapers is the object uh, the the second example we read newspapers to gain knowledge subject verb combination is a clause and this is independent clause and this is a simple sentence newspapers is the object to gain knowledge here are two objects uh, read is the finite verb and to gain is the non finite verb non finite verb is not able to express meaning 
uh, we can't make a sentence uh, with only non-finite verb. Okay, then, so this is a uh, simple sentence. Example number three, an industrious man will succeed in that. This is a compound subject. An industrious man, subject one, will succeed is a finite verb. How is it a finite verb? This is a, a future simple. Uh, this is in future simple tense. Uh, in the case of future simple tense, we use shall or will as an auxiliary verb and then the main, uh, the base form of the main verb. So, this, uh, this is also a simple sentence. Now, let's talk about the compound sentence. A compound sentence is just a sentence that has two independent clauses. Where, on the other hand, you can say a, a compound sentence, a compound sentence has two or more simple sentences. I told you earlier, a, an independent clause is just a simple sentence where you can say a simple sen sentence is just an independent clause. So subject plus verb, this is an independent clause. Subject plus verb, this is an independent clause. These two independent clauses are joined together by a coordinating convention. So, uh, on the other hand, you can say this is a simple sentence, this is a simple sentence, and these two simple sentences are joined together by a coordinating conjunction. To make a compound sentence, you must use a coordinating conjunction. And now I'd like you to remember what coordinating conjunctions are. Okay, before that, let's see the example. Let's see the example, okay? This is not a compound sentence. Uh, the thief saw the police and he ran away. Uh, here, the thief saw the police, this is an independent clause. He ran away, this is an independent clause. Subject plus verb combination is a clause and this is an independent clause. Subject plus verb combination is an independent clause and these two independent clauses are joined together by a coordinating conjunction. Okay, now uh, you can ask me, sir, sir, how can I remember the coordinating conjunctions? There's an easy way to remember coordinating conjunctions. I've already written that. One of my favorite things that I always tell my students to follow uh, is the acronym fanboys. Remember, remembering the acronym fanboys is an easy way to remember the coordinating conventions. Okay, let's explain. F stands for for, A stands for and, N stands for nor, B stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for yet, S stands for so. To make a compound sentence, you must use one of these coordinating conjunctions and that coordinating conjunctions will connect uh, will connect uh, the two the the two independent clauses uh, to one another okay then uh, let, let's talk about the complex sentence a complex sentence is just a sentence that has a subordinate clause that has a principal clause Subject plus verb is a principal clause and one word more subordinate clauses. Subordinate clause begins with a subordinate conjunction. How to make a subordinate clause? Subordinate conjunction plus subject plus verb. But the principal clause comes comes can come for uh, can come first. Subject plus verb principal clause plus subordinate clause. The subordinate uh, subordinate clause begins with a subordinate conjunction. But uh, keep in mind that. Uh, when the subordinate clause comes for us, then you need to use a comma. So, uh, let's, let's see what things have you learned from the definition of complex sentence. A complex sentence must have a principal clause and one or more subordinate clauses and the subordinate clauses begin with a subordinate convention. And what are the most commonly used subordinating conventions. Uh, there's a there's a popular 
acronym uh, to remember the subordinate conjunctions. IU VISTA. Remembering this acronym, uh, you can remember some of the most commonly used subordinate conjunctions. For example, A stands for after. S. When, were, whenever, whenever. I'm saying this one more time. When, were, whenever. Then why? Until. Unless. Before. Because. If. Since. Though. Although. Now, students, remember this acronym, you can remember some of the most commonly used subordinate conjunctions. But except for these, there, there, there are some other subordinate conjunctions. Uh, I'm going to uh, write them. Okay, uh, before that, uh, let's explain once again uh, what things do we need to use to make a simple sentence. To make a simple sentence, we have to use just a subject and a finite verb. Finite verb means tense verb. For example, we read newspapers, we read newspapers to gain knowledge, an industrious man will succeed.